Hi, I'm David Tulis with AOPA. I'm the senior photographer, but I'm also a pilot. And I've come across a really interesting item that I think might be real versatile for a lot of other folks who are on the go. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. Today, we are going to do a test flight with a really interesting headset that's really versatile. And the reason why it's versatile, this is a regular quiet headset from Bose. It's an A&R headset that you could use when you're working on your computer or if you're on a commercial flight. But the folks at InFlight have rigged it up with a really neat professional microphone made by Dave Clark. Um, and so we're gonna test the InFlight Nomad Pro microphone headset jack, which is, uh, as you can see, it's a dual plug adapter here, a normal dual plug that goes into most GA aircraft. You've got controls on here to control the left side or the right side, a little volume control there. And it's got, interestingly enough, it's got built-in Bluetooth here, so it can match up and mate with my iPhone or an iPad mini. So we can get uh, four flight involved to give us Altitude readouts and ATIS, things like that, will come through the headset. It's just a headset. I could put this on and listen to tunes on my laptop, or I could attach it via this microphone headset plug. And it's just Velcro, and we'll slap it right on there, get a nice good mate on there, and there's one little mini jack that we plug in underneath that kind of turns it into an aviation headset. We are going to test the in-flight Nomad microphone setup on a Bose QC35 headset. It's a consumer headset, and you can convert it to aviation use with a simple attachment of this microphone. It's actually a Dave Clark mic grafted onto a really interesting um, little mic boom. The first generation of this uh, headset mic setup, I bought that at Oshkosh probably wow, back in 2017 or 2018. And the mic boom was thinner. This is a lot thicker, so it stays in place a little bit more. And it's a really interesting and versatile headset. So if you can hear the audio quality, you can hear that it's pretty good right now. And um, usually there's no, there are no issues. Um, there's one thing to look out for when you are taking off. You sometimes hear a little bit of a burble through the headset when you're at full power, really the first 100 feet or so of the takeoff roll. But other than that, it's been a very dependable headset for me. I carry this with me with my camera gear. I carry it um, with me in my uh, flight bag. And it comes in a really neat little carrying case that keeps it all together. And if you wanted to, you could use it not on Bluetooth um, when you're using it personally on a commercial airliner um, or at home. You could use it on a cord. So that's pretty neat. It comes with this. It's all a real neat, easily stowed package. And it fits in a backpack day pack, flight bag, really good. Beautiful sunset, throttle was in. You hear a little bit of a wobbly sound on the headset at this point, but it's not real prominent. Goes away by about this first runway marker. 55, ready to rotate. Here we are. Nice and smooth. One thing I wanted to mention about the, the Bose headset that's mated to the Nomad microphone setup is that it's a real lightweight headset. And the clamping pressure is very light on your head. It's very comfortable. The ear cuts are real comfortable as well. The microphone, as you see, is pretty lightweight. It's just on this flexible, flexible mic boom. And it's really thin. So there's not a lot of weight pulling you down. This, that's really good if you're flying for hours and hours. It could be real fatiguing to have a headset that just doesn't fit. Just as motorcycle riders know, a, a helmet that doesn't fit, it, it'll just make your life miserable. It is a high quality build on this headset. I did, however, add a little bit extra Velcro. You can't see it because it's on the ear that's away from you. I got a little bit more of that heavy duty Velcro just to give it a little bit more surface area for that mic to grab. I don't know if you can see where I put a little bit more Velcro all the way around. It comes with a circular dot of uh, heavy-duty Velcro, and I just add a little bit more to the front and the back, and a teeny little bit on this arm, and that really made a difference. The reason why I did that is I pressed this uh, 
headset into use for air-to-air -air photography, and that's usually with an open um, baggage door area. It's really easy for the for the mic and the boom to fly away, which you don't want at all. So I added a little bit more Velcro just to make it a little bit more robust. The uh, batteries are charged. It's got an internal battery. It's charged by USB, and that's really helpful. Uh, you can use an external battery to power the headset. And I have flown literally all day, eight hours in an airplane from Frederick, Maryland to Ada, Oklahoma, and the headset stayed up the whole time, and I was listening to music at the same time. It was great. I was I was acting as second in command or, or passenger helping pilot, if you will. So I was listening to some tunes, and it was really, really nice. That's the other thing. If you're on a long cross-country trip, you might want to listen to some external music, um, and you can always listen to the AOPA Top 100 Flying Songs, which you can find at AOPA.org. Just search for the Top 100 Flying Songs. So it's a beautiful night here. I'm flying with Jamal Warner. Uh, he's uh, one of our video crew members. And uh, Jamal is a student pilot. If you look outside, I tell you what, if you don't mind, just keep, uh, keep an eye on the aircraft while I take a quick picture. It is just beautiful out Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Uh, and so this is what aviation is all about. And we're coming over, this, uh, over the river, and it is just really worth a photo. The ear cup seal is really good. I'm growing my hair out a little bit longer. Uh, but I'm still getting a really tight seal. This is a pretty noisy Cessna 172. Um, it, it's one of the end models, so it's uh, you know, built in the 80s, and uh, it's not a whole lot of insulation around here. But I'm totally insulated from sound, so it's a lot better. I turned the headset off for just a second, and it got, got really loud. So the noise cancellation, it's superb. So I really like that. One thing that might come to mind is if you're comparing this headset to like a Bose A20 a Bluetooth headset. Where does this one fall short? Well, it still has Bluetooth, so that's comparable. Um, it, it falls short, in my opinion, a little bit only because, um, and it doesn't fall short to the Bose A20, it just falls short in my expectations because, um, to other devices, because almost everything has, has a USB-C cord right now. GoPros have USB-C cord. My Nikon cameras have USB-C cord. That's more common. My, my Apple laptop has a USB-C cord. And this takes sort of the in-between USB-C. I think we call it a micro cord. That's the one inconvenient thing that I've found. Other than that, I've been super happy. This thing is great out of the box. The batteries last about at least eight hours for sure and probably longer. It uh, doesn't take that long to charge. You charge it with a cord and just super simple. So we're using it today. We'll probably use it tomorrow and the next time we fly.